high fashion at rock bottom prices. People say they're finding it on Facebook, but is it really worth your money? Well, I hit on your side, consumer advocate Michelle Mortensen looked into the shop's advertising or selling on social media, promising cheap couture. Yeah, <laughs> and cheap out. is the key yeah. word here because I'm talking about dresses that are sold for 10 bucks, and this stuff looks like it came right off the runway. Facebook isn't just pictures, status updates, and comment wars anymore. Facebook is big business, especially in the world of fashion. I actually fell in love with the dress when I... Noelle Sliman adored this window pane dress that appeared on her Facebook feed. A quick click of the mouse took her to rosegal.com, revealing the fabulous frock had a fabulous price tag. I paid $10.63. More than 30 days later, the dress, size small, arrived. But it didn't quite fit her size 4 frame. I said, is this for Barbie? Because there's no way. She wanted a refund, but returning the dainty dress required big effort, like pictures or measurements and a lot of cash. $200. Why so much? The dress came from China, and sending it back meant paying customs. 200 bucks was just an estimate the post office gave her. Every day it sat in customs, the cost would go up. I could easily just flush this dress and ten dollars down the toilet. So was this Facebook fashion find a fraud or a fluke? To find out, we shopped. My intern surfed Facebook and found a bunch of fashion houses hawking great deals. Chelsea fell for this frock from rosegal.com, the same place Noelle bought from. Mariah preferred this purple number from tvdress.com. Tiana swooned for a sweater sheath from She Insider. And Adanya jumped at this jacket on TrendsGal.com. Everything was less than 20 bucks and shipped for free. The only wrinkle? Finding the right size. Knowing Noelle's experience, we took measurements. You're in between. But none of them. If they're saying the dress is going to come right there to you. Ooh. Met the standards set by these Facebook fashion five and dimes. The difference between small, medium, and large is not even an inch. The small is a 14.7, a 14.5, and a 14.9. Weeks went by, nearly six, before three packages showed up. Then it was off to the station dressing room for a fashion show. First up, Mariah with her purple professional dress. Well, that looks actually. It looks a little. Normal. It does. But once she got it on, it was tight. Almost too tight for TV. I, I can't wear this to church. Nope. No. <laughs> Chelsea's sequin shift was scandalously yeah. short. It's really, yeah. really, really, really short. Yeah. So no raising arms or bending over. Tiana's sweater dress turned out to be more of a jersey, but that was the only surprise. That's not bad. No, not at all. It actually looked like the picture. It was the first to arrive, and Tiana said she'd buy from them again. I'd wear it with leggings and a boot, I guess. As for Adonia's jacket, it never showed up. It was the biggest Facebook fashion flop. So three of her four deals were duds. Only one was a winner. Not all stores on Facebook sell clothing from overseas with sizing issues. In fact, Tiana's dress came from New Jersey. And many stores selling on Facebook are actually quite reputable. The key is doing your research. You need to know their policies, where they're from, and check reviews. All the stores we featured has fa had Facebook pages that were full of comments from customers mm. that really revealed quite a bit. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks, Michelle.